Enjoy. What's up, everybody? Justin here from Row 9 Studios, and I brought my daughter along on this one today. We're going to start a series of round tables for you guys, even though we're sitting at a rectangular table. <laughs> um, we're going to have a little round table discussion with you guys. And the reason I brought my daughter along on this one is I want to make sure that we have both my point of view as an adult and the point of view of a child who the show is actually more geared at for real. Um, and we're going to talk about Disney's Owl House. It has three episodes at this point. Uh, we're going to talk about those three with you today. And then we'll check back in with you every three episodes or so. And just kind of let you know what's going on with the show. Have a little discussion between us and hopefully with you guys too. So let's just start off with Owl House episode one. What did you think of the first episode? I think it was really good. Um, I really like the way... Loose came into the world. It was Loose came into the Boiling Isles. Okay. It was very, it was very creative way to do it. Okay. So we should probably need to let you guys know Loose um, is the main character. She's human, and she's in our world. And the idea of the show is she ends up going to this other world, the Boiling Isles. Yes. And basically wants to start training to become a witch. And if you hear that meowing, that's our cat wandering around. Um, he might jump up on the table even. We'll find out about that. Um, but so the main idea of the story is Luce ends up in this other planet, or other planet, other world, yeah. um, with these lots of weird creatures and witches and wizards and things. And she wants to... To become a witch. She wants to be... She doesn't like being boring and normal, right? She's uh, all she's, about being herself and having fun and letting her imagination fly. Yeah, um, the beginning... For the beginning where it really shows while, she, while she's in Earth, how it shows how she is weird uh -huh. in the sense. Um, I liked how it was with the, the witch and... Um, the snake. The, and the snake. Which she's telling a story. Snake. Yeah. She she was telling a story out of a book she had with a real snake and an action figure. And she had tons of backup snakes and the backup snakes escaped and they um, started attacking everyone. Yep. So that gets her in trouble. She then... And her mom decides she's going to send her to camp for the summer? Um, a summer camp. And the, f the flyer for it was pretty hilarious. It said, uh, think inside the box. It was reality check camp. Yeah. And it, on the pamphlet it said, think inside the box. And there was a picture of a kid cramped in a inside box. Inside the box, yeah. So um, that was pretty hilarious. And so Luce ends up um, getting ready to go to this camp, and she throws away her book, this fantasy book about this witch. I'm trying to remember her name. I, I can't remember her name right off the top of my head. Uh, I think we have it written down. Uh, do, 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 do. Azara. Azara. Okay. The witch Azara um, is who this book is about. And so she throws this book away. And before we know it, she turns and there's an owl. Very tiny. Very tiny owl picking the trash. And it picks up her book and starts to run away. So she chases this owl. And she chases it into this broken, beat up shack. Yeah. And inside the shack there is a door. It's a pretty weird looking door. It has an eye it has an eye on it, which is which is pretty important. The owl goes into the door and Luz follows after her. After him or her. Or and we see a flash owl. of light. Yes. And all of a sudden she's in the boiling aisles. Where she runs across our second 
character that we're kind of introduced to, the second main character. Yeah, um, Ida the Owl Lady. Ida the Owl Lady. Uh, Ida is selling human uh, trinkets. So she's selling jewelry and googly eyes and just silly everyday human items. She sells a foot. She calls it a human foot. Yeah. Right? It was a, it was a croc. It was a croc, a shoe, right? She's like, get this human foot with holes in it. But it's just a croc. Or this human foot with holes in it. Yes. She says. Um, and she and the owl comes. Mm -hmm. And the owl gives her the bag of... Um, and there's the cat I talked about. Um, so she... So the owl gives Ida the bag, and, um... Gonna move him out of the way, keep talking. Okay, um, and gives Ida the bag. Ida looks through the stuff and says, boring, boring, this isn't gonna sell well. And then she finds, can't remember what it was. The googly, like, glasses. Oh yeah, the googly glasses um, with slinkies on them, and so she's like, these, these will make me lots of money, she says, and then she finds the book about Azara, and she says, and this will make good candle lighting, so she starts to light the book, and Luz comes out of the corner, because she just stepped in, and says, oh, that's mine, thank you, and she takes it out of um, Edith's hand, and that's basically how they met in the beginning. Okay, and uh, then a guard shows up, starts attacking, trying to get Ida arrested, um, which sets the rest of the plot for the first episode in motion. Um, and Ida and Luce get away, and they show up at the Owl House, which is an actual building. It's Ida's house. Um, you want to go tell about the next character we see as they get to the doorway? So the next character they meet is Hootie. Hootie is, um, like an ornament on the door, kind of, and he can talk, and he's Mickey's voice, and, um... He looks like a wooden owl decoration on the door. He's kind it's just of, a head. Just, just a circle. He, he actually, it, you can see in the third episode, they open the door, and you can see he has a back, too. He has, like, a okay. little detail on the back. Okay. Um, and he... Didn't catch that when I watched it. Okay. But cool. Yeah. Um, he says, password, please. And Ida says, we don't have time for that hootie, and pokes him in the eyes. And he says, ow, oh, jeez, hoot. That part's where he's like, ow, oh, jeez, hoot. It's hilarious. Um, so then he opens up his mouth and makes it, and make and lets them go inside. Right, they walk through his mouth. Instead of the door opening, his mouth opens and they just walk through it. <laughs> um. So we get that, and then we get who I think is my favorite character. Oh, it's my favorite character too. Other the Demon you. King. 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 <laughs> the King of all <laughs> demons. Um, he comes in and says, who dares intrude upon I, the king of demons, and he asks, You see a shadow, and yeah. you're like, uh-oh, what's this thing coming? Yeah, he, cause they, cause his shadow is huge, huge, and he's holding on to Ducky. Yes, <laughs> he comes around the corner, and he basically is like a little cat with a skull helmet on holding a rubber duck. Cubone. Kind, kind of, of like Cubone, Cubone in Pokemon, yeah. Just but fluffier. Black. And black. Yes. And he has a collar. Yes. Um, so he's hilarious. Um, we don't want to spend tons of time giving everything, so mm -hmm. we'll speed up till uh, basically Luce wants to go home. And, well, actually, before we get to that, I should say King is voiced by Alex Hirsch. Um, who a lot of you out there probably have no clue who he is. 
uh, my daughter happens to know who he is because we've had discussions about this. And she likes Alex, her, Alex Hirsch and likes something else that he did, which was he was the creator of what show? Well, Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls. So, big Gravity Falls fans. So, <laughs> Alex Hirsch is playing the voice of King for Owl House. Owl House being uh, created by one of the ladies who worked on Gravity Falls with him. Yeah. So, now, back to the story, kind of speeding things up. Luce wants to go home, uh, and Ida says, we need your help. I will help you get home if you can get King his crown back. He's missing his crown, his demon crown. Yes. But only a human can get to it. Um. He gets his power. He gets his powers powers mm -hmm. back um, with his crown. So they go and they break into the warden's castle um, to get the crown. And there's a little part that shows, uh, that's kind of the heart of the story, where it shows a bunch of other oddballs and weirdos, basically, is what they call themselves, locked up. People being themselves, or creatures being themselves. And it shows them locked up, and... Luz tries to break, Luce tries to break them out, but can't. And then ends up getting to the... Uh, treasure room, if you will, where the crown is, and what she discover when she goes to get the crown. The crown was a Burger Queen crown instead of Burger King. It's basically a paper crown. Um, and King puts it on and says, "Yes, finally, my all of my powers has returned." And he says, "You there, weak creature, strange creature, yeah. you will be, you will be in my army." And basically, it's a stuffed bunny rabbit. <laughs> and so, King has this thought that he's really a demon king, yeah. when he's not really. And Luce has this moment where she's like, what? Like, you lied to me, to Edda. Ida. Ida. She's like, you, she's kind of like, you lied to me. Like, that's not a crown. He gets no power from it. And Ida basically says... King and I... We only have each other in this world. Yeah. So if that crown makes him happy, then I will do anything to get it for him. Yeah, so she kind of implies that, yeah, she knows it has no power, but she wants to make him happy. And it makes him happy. It makes him feel powerful. And they're just also weirdos. Um, and at that point, our, our bad guy for the first episode shows up, our uh, warden. And, warden uh, so he shows up. And we get a battle, and well, <laughs> he we get catches. A, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's not. A, it's not necessarily a battle. When he shows up, he kind of um, chops off Edith's head right away. <laughs> and Edith's like, and Edith's expression, and Luce catches Edith's head and, and he screams. Goes, and um, she's like, and Edith says, "Oh, I hate it when that happens." Right, so implying that Ida can have her she head chopped off. <laughs> can have her head chopped off and not die. Um, and then we find out why Warden Wrath wanted her captured and why he chops off her head. Well, well, after a while, at first that wasn't what happened. Well, we find out what that the Warden loves Ida. Yeah, he loves Ida and he wants her to go out with him. So he captures her to make her say yes to going out with him. And uh doesn't happen. We get a big battle. What? We yeah. get we get some cool stuff. We get a parallel to uh what happened at the very start of the show. Right? We get the what Luce does at the end is kind of what she had the witch in her book do. Yeah. Right? So it kind of matches up. And then um you know, she we saves, get... She saves the people in the, um... The cells? Ja the jails? Jail, mm -hmm. Um, the three people that she met, and, um, they all, so they all escape, and they go back, and Luz has this kind of realization moment that this that the place, the boiling, boiling Isles, is filled with weirdos like her. Um, and she says she wants to say, stay, 
and King backs up and says, please let her stay. She can make us snacks. Yes. King is hilarious. And that kind of ends our first episode. And, uh, you know, we'll roll, we'll roll here right into episode two and then right into episode three. So, uh, what'd you think of episode two? Episode two was really fun. Um, I like the part, the, the one part in it, never trust a man in sandals. Never and trust she, a man in sandals, and yes. Does, and that's. And she, yeah, she does, and that sets everything in motion for the episode. Yes. Um, basically, the episode begins with her being, Luce being super excited that Edna's going to start training her, right? Yeah. And uh, Edna... Ida. Ida. I just cannot get that name right. Ida um, basically sends her on a quest, and that quest is to deliver potions to her customers. Um, and the last customer that she rolls across is a man in sandals. A wizard. In sandals. Um, and the wizard gives her a map. A map that has a quest on it. And Luce is obsessed with quests. And obsessed with becoming something. So she, uh tries to convince King to go on this quest with her. And he just laughs at her. Um, and Ida said, there's no place, there's no place like that in the Boiling Isles. Mm -hmm. And, um. Telling her that the quest is not real. Yeah. And Luce obviously doesn't listen because mm -hmm. she wants to go on this quest. And she and um, a light shines on the scroll, and it says, "You are the chosen <clears> one." <throat> and she's and Luz says, "Oh, that must Ida couldn't see it, so she, she wasn't the chosen, the chosen one. one." And she um, goes off on the quest. Right. So she goes off on this quest and <clears throat> comes across. A town of cats. Of cat people. Cat things. <coughs> Excuse me. Things. Not to spoil till we get to the end. Things. Um, and sees this man and the man is really muscular and she falls in love, basically <coughs> kind of. And and they go and he helps her go on the quest. And that's how the quest starts out. But nothing like how it ends. We're gonna pause right there for a second <clears throat> so I can <clears throat> get a drink of water. Yeah, I'll do the transition. So, don't worry. All right, <clears throat> so we're back. Thank you for bearing with us here. This is, I had to pause and get something to drink because all of a sudden I had to start coughing. Um, where were we right at? Um. Oh, the cat, the cat town. Yeah, and that, I, and I finished And the muscular so the, guy. Yeah, and that's how the quest starts. So then we kind of transition into this weird guy. I can't remember. Well, before they, well, yeah, they, I mean, they, they start, they, they're on a quest. They, she's going on the quest. This muscular guy's like, I'll help you on your quest. And she's like, oh, yeah. And he Because she thinks she's, she thinks he's cute. And he kind of lures her in like that in yep. a sense. And then they come across a pixie or a fairy. Yeah. And, and this weird and this weird creature thing. I didn't remember his name. And it's yeah, it lures them in and she gets to the goal of the quest. Which was a staff because the whole episode she wants a staff because she asks Ida, when will I get my staff? Um but so she goes and grabs the staff and all of a sudden the cat people that were helping her, the muscular guy, the pixie, we discover are kind of like puppets on the end of tentacles. Mm, and and this weird demon thing kind of Well, he he is a demon. He is a demon. This weird blobby demon. 
shows up and he he was controlling all he of was the... all of them, including the wizard with sandals, which you should not trust a wizard with sandals or any guy with sandals in the boiling aisles, apparently. Right. And um so we kind of skipped over everything that was happening at the Owl House during that. We did. So, do you want to fill them in on what, like, the other thing that was going on, like, what was going on at the Owl House? Yeah. So, at the Owl House, King <coughs> tells Ida that, um, Luce goes on this quest. And, um, Ida looks at the... Scroll. Scroll, um, and says, who did she get this from? And he said, one of the, your clients. And she's like, oh no. Mm -hmm. And they go to... She the, realizes something's wrong. She, she, rea she knows that something's wrong. Um, and they go to the castle that was there. And the castle was all beaten up and did not look anything like it looked. Yeah. At the beginning. Like it was an illusion at the beginning. Um, and they look through and they see all the scrolls. And they all say the chosen one on it. And he is like, he's a trick. And they have to go and find Luz. Mm -hmm. And they end up going and getting there. That's true. And they get there just in time to save her. Yes. She and gets saved. Mm -hmm. That's how that one ends. Oh, that's how that episode ends. So that brings us to the third episode and the newest one that came out. Um, which introduces us to some new characters. Um, three that I think are probably going to be reoccurring. Yeah, def for def the most part, definitely um, Willow, Gus, and Amity. So uh, let's just open with how the episode opened. Um, you start because I forgot. <laughs> so it opens with um, Ida taking Luce and King, and they're basically going to scavenge the body of a monster who is a trash eater to try to find trinkets to sell. Um, yeah. And during that, um, Luce is like, why are we looking through this? Can you send me on a real quest and... Like that, how the other episode kind of is like. Yeah. And um, she said, "Yeah, I am." And she, and Ida sticks Lou's hand into a slime pit, mm -hmm. and she brings out a slime ball. Yes, which um, comes into play later in the episode. And put and Lou's puts it in her pocket. Mm-hmm. And then Lou's basically is like, "This is gross. If this is what." becoming a witch takes maybe i'm not cut out for it and kind of wanders away into the woods and when she's wandering away into the woods she stumbles upon one of our new characters in willow yes and willow has an abomination project where it's like a big um globby creature slime guy yeah um and hers is just a melted puddle. Mm -hmm. And Emma Chia Bright comes along being, and she's the. Top of the class. Yeah, top of the class. Best student, but also seems kind of like a jerk. Yeah, is. Um, a and, bully. Yes. And um, she's like, oh, better luck next time. And she brings out her abomination shows how much better her abomination is and Luce is watching it all and um, Willow gets really angry and starts lashing out with a um after Amity leaves. leaves yeah and starts lashing out with a plant yeah so she she makes this plant like grow and it's like all these vines and they're whipping all over the place and yeah. uh one of the vines grabs Luce by and, the leg by the leg and pulls her in and that introduces Luce to Willow, mm -hmm. who's super excited to see a human. And Luce is super excited to see a kid witch. And they 
end up going back to the magic school? Well, there's an important part of that, that, missed. that you okay. missed. Okay. Um, Luz agrees, says, tells um, Will out that she can be her abomination. Um, and so... Pretend Willow, to be her abomination. Yeah, yeah, and agrees. And Willow agrees and Luz hides in the pot that it was in. Mm -hmm. And they go, set off to the school. That's true. And so they go there. And we end up meeting another new character right off the bat. Um, Willow says, kind of introduces this other character to Gus. her abomination Gus. in Luz. And this new character is Gus. And so Gus is the leader of the, like, human club or something like yeah, that. I forget what the they call it. the Human Appreciation Society. And he freaks out because he realizes that Luce is a human. Right. Like, and doesn't have pointy ears like he does. Because he goes like this. He's like... Um, and Gus is going crazy. And Willow says um, to be quiet because... Um, Not Luce, to let people know. Yeah. And Gus, is, Gus agrees, and they go off to Abomination 101. Mm -hmm. They do. They end up showing off their abominations, all the different students, to the teacher. Yeah. And uh, Willow shows off her abomination, and the teacher kind of freaks out like it's the best abomination he's ever seen. And I guess I kind of missed the, I, I did miss the part, Amity gets sent to the principal's office. And, um, because she goes all, because Willow got the be star student, or best student. Yeah, so she flips out because now all of a sudden Willow's getting the star student award. And Amity pretty much knows about it because she saw it. Yeah, she knows that it's not a real abomination. And so she comes back a short while later with the principal. And the principal is super excited about how awesome this abomination is and basically says, let's find out. Um, and takes out a knife to dissect the abomination. You forgot about the command part. They, it says, he says abomination sit and abomination lie. And... Lou starts lying, starts fit, listing off lies, and um, the principal's like, "How strange for a, for a um, abomination to like disobey their orders." And they and he says, "I meant lie down." Right. And so she goes and lies down on the table, and they pull out. The and knife. then that's where he's like, "Let's." Let's uh, cut her open and see what she's made of. I'm really curious what your abomination's made of. And Willow says, oh, I have the list of ingredients right here in my pocket. And he says, no, I want to see what it's made of for real. And I'm pretty sure he knew that it was... That she was not uh -huh. an abomination, yes. And he hints the next to Willow and says, here, you take the first cut. For sure. And then um, Gus saves him by knocking over the... Other abomination jars. Pot. Pots. And uh, they take off running. And so the kind of chase begins and the principal is like putting up magic barriers and they're sending the abominations after them. And basically uh, Willow and Luce are trapped. Yeah. Um, and what happens <laughs> is um, Willow asks if... Um, Luz has anything, mm -hmm. and Luz just said, um, and pulls out, um, a bunch of stuff, like a paper clip, mm -hmm. or the, um, some chewed up gum or paper and something, um, and, and the slime ball, which turns out to be a seed, and Willow can enchant, um, plants, mm -hmm. and make them grow and stuff. 
So she makes a big wall and makes and um, of vines out of it. Uh huh. And they it kits them forward, and then because because the um, principal sent abominations after them, mm -hmm. and she gets loot. And he's and amazed by what he's seen with these vines. Uh, and Willow throws Luz out, out, out of the make, school and makes sure she was safe. Yeah, and so Luz runs all the way home to the Owl House. And you totally and you totally we totally forgot about um, what Ida and King were doing. So back to the beginning. I will backtrack. There, as you can see, a lot of times there's separate stories. It's like. Luce goes on her own adventure, and then there's something else going on with King and Ida. Yeah, or King and Luce. Right. Um, okay, so we'll backtrack so a little bit. So, King, and King makes a bet with Ida that he can be a better teacher than she can. And she said, okay. So she hands, so she hands King one of the eggs from the trash creature mm -hmm. and um says here teach this how to teach this to be your loyal servant mm -hmm. and become a ruler yeah and um king tries and just ends up feeding it a lot a lot of treats and and he grows really, really big, big. <laughs> and um it's like a giant slug basically and Ida's going through the trash again, and uh, King's like, Ida, help me! And um, because it got so big and he didn't have any treats left. So, and so it started coming after him. Uh huh. So Ida comes and saves King. She, they save him by pouring salt on it. Yeah, and Ida's like, Where is Luz? But she only. She only says she'll help him if she's allowed to do what? Call him, his name will now be Mr. Wiggles. So, Ida says, I will only help King if you let me call you Mr. Wiggles. So he consents. So, Ida then calls him Mr. Wiggles. And they go. To, and they go. Um, because Ida's wondering where loses and mm -hmm. so they like follow a path they follow a path mm -hmm. and she says oh no there's only one place that this leads to and it was the school and Ida hates the school because it because it's school and it goes on like a basis and she's like useless busy work mm -hmm. and she she lists off all the things she goes through the classrooms and sees yeah and, um, so she gets, and, so she gets to the front and it finds Luz. And that's where we left off. And, um. No, Luz actually shows up well, closer to the yeah. outhouse. Yeah, she does. Um, you, you, cause she, you got her she too was, close to the school. She, she was, she was run. she was running. She was running, yeah, and, and runs into her and gives her a big hug. And then, all of a sudden, and she basically kind of tells her thank you, right? Yeah. For for being a teacher, you're a good teacher. Um, and then Willow and Gus show up, and Willow and Gus are like, um, Lucy's like, oh, you made it out. And Willow's like, oh, yeah, everything's good. She's like, I'm now going to be a nature witch or whatever she called it. I don't remember exactly what she called it. Uh, She put it. She's the on the nature track. The principal yeah. put her to the nature track because he was so impressed with the vines and stuff she was creating. And uh, she and Luce is like, oh, great, I can come back to the school and visit. And, and Gus pulls out a wanted poster. A, ba a band poster. A band poster, yes. Says, uh, no, you can't. You've kind of been banned from the school. And, and Ida's super, super proud. Because she's like, aw, your first... Your first wanted poster yeah. slash bound poster. Yeah. And so our episode basically ends kind of there. It's it's fast paced, um, you know. And but the kids, you know, Willow and Gus promise to come teach 
uh, loose at the Owl House. Um, so obviously we'll see those two characters again. And she says, I don't need you. Ida's my, you know, Ida's a great teacher, but I'm sure we will see Gus and Willow again. Yeah, because cause Gus, Gus and Willow said, but we'll still come and visit. Yeah. So, I mean, overall, I mean, we just gave you an overview of the first three episodes. Um, overall, just Owl House has been really fun so far. Uh-huh. Um, it's fun. It's about being yourself even if it being yourself is weird it's about just there's craziness there's weird monsters in this world it's very surreal it, you have some hilarious characters and like Ida and King I love King um so far hilarious um I, I I'm definitely happy to keep keep watching it there was one thing I forgot to say. Um, Hootie actually tells Ida where um, Luz went. Because Ida was wondering where she was because she couldn't find her in the house. Yeah. So um, Hootie tells her and like, you must answer my three riddles. And she says, we have time for that, Hootie. And Hootie's like, fine. She went that way. And he tries to point, and he just gives the direction. Yeesh, ow! That's what he always says. It's ow, jeez, hoot. Yeah, there you go. Do it. Ow, gee, hoot! Way better at it than me. Um, so, anyways, we're super excited to see where the season goes, where the series goes. Um, it's funny. It's great. There's not anything bad I can say about it. There's nothing I dislike about it at all. It's definitely a half hour show where I'm like, all right, I'm excited to see what the next episode holds. Um, anything you can think of? Uh, that we yeah. didn't cover? Mm, not that we didn't cover. No. Okay. Or that you want them to know? Um, or remember as they go, it, you know, watching it? Um... If anyone cares, Luz, Luz's full name is Luz Noseda. Okay. So, I appreciate you guys watching this. Um, a lot of weird moments there. Me having to cough and stop and get a drink. The cat yeah. jumping on the table twice. It just kind of goes really well with the Owl House, because the Owl House is just kind of weird. So, totally works for us. Anyways, um, we appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Take a look. Go watch Owl House. Fortunately, it's not on Disney+. Plus. It's only on the Disney Channel or Disney XD at the moment. Um, it will not be on Disney+, Plus until the entire first season is done, from what I've read. So if you do not have regular Disney Channel, you're going to have to wait a little while to watch it. Um, but... We appreciate you guys checking out our, our video. Um, this is Row 9, signing out.